This is the Cube Lightning, the bike of Jan Hertz, the rider for Intermarche Wanty Gobert. I'm going to pick out all of the cool details on the bike, tell you all about the specs, measure it, weigh it, and do that all important Freehub sound check. What a lovely. The Lightning Frame is the most aero road bike offering from Cube and it's constructed from carbon fiber. Paired up to the frame are the Newman 50mm deep wheels. These are fitted with Continental's brand new GP5000 STR tyres. These are in a 25mm width. And the disc rotors that are attached to the wheels are the Dura's 9100s. These are 140mm at the front and 140mm at the rear. Moving down to the centre of the bike, we've got the Dura's 9100 power meter. This is a dual-sided offering and it's fitted with 53 39 tooth chain rings. Attached to the cranks are Look Keo Blade carbon pedals and these are fitted with fancy pants ceramic bearings. Moving towards the rear of the bike, we have the 30 to 11 tooth cassette. And we've also got this Dura Ace rear mech, which is mounted with a direct mech hanger to remove that additional pivot point. This helps to increase a little bit of strength and shifting accuracy. Now being at the UAE Tour, we're obviously unlikely to experience any rain here. So interestingly, the team mechanics have decided to wax the chains for the race here so that they're as efficient and saving the riders as much energy and watts as possible. Moving up from the rear of the bike, we've got the Prologo Scratch MS Saddle. This is fitted with a large central cutout and is positioned on the bike directly in the center of the rails, which is always nice to see, very visually pleasing having that. Moving down slightly from the saddle, we've got the race number holder zip tied in place onto this D-shaped section seat post, trying to make it as aerodynamic as possible. Moving forwards to the front of the bike, we've got some very fresh looking bar tape. This matches up lovely with the little flashes of color on the frame. The handlebars themselves are one piece designs to combine the stem and handlebar together, made from carbon fiber and manufactured by Cube. Interesting to see is underneath the tops of the handlebars, we've got tucked away some very small little sprint shifters, allowing the riders to change gear when they're on the tops of the handlebars, maybe climbing. This is another little addition, which is really cool to see and gonna be particularly helpful in the classics in the spring when the riders will be blasting over all of the cobbles. The handlebars themselves are 40 centimeters wide and the stem is 130 millimeters long. Now, interestingly, Jan has decided to turn the lever hoods in very slightly to try to help reduce his frontal area and improve his aerodynamics. This is something we've seen lots of riders favoring. The head unit is mounted on an integrated mount out the front so they can display all of his stats and information that he needs during the race. Finishing the bike off are the Elite Prism carbon fiber bottle cages. Right onto some of the measurements of this frame set. So let's start with the saddle height. 74.5 and the nose of the saddle to the center of the handlebars is 57 centimeters. And then I've already measured the drop of the handlebars from the saddle is 11 centimeters. One minor little detail I've noticed on this bike is that the front caliper is fitted with Shimano brake pads with the integrated cooling fins, whereas on the rear caliper, they haven't fitted the ones with cooling fins, so we've just got the standard uh, brake pads fitted. Hmm, interesting. Right, let's get this bike on the GCN scales of truth. 7.63 kilograms. Nice. Free up sound check next. Nice, I like that. Lovely. So they have it, the Cube Lightning of Jan Hertz. Hope you found this video helpful and you like the bike. And why not let me know what you think of it in the comments section down below. And remember to see more pro bikes like this and more cool racing content. Subscribe to GCN Racing and click that bell icon to turn your notifications on.